Hello, ladies, gentlemen, germs, America, USA, West Coast, the world. Uh, it's me. I'm back. Triple Gamer Gamer here with another reaction video. Um, yeah, I'm checking off my redo list. Um, yeah, I explained earlier in some other videos of why that of why there's a redo list that I've done. Um, yeah, I was very irritated at myself. Like, really? I was on multiple videos, so I had to take them off and redo them. So, yes, this is another reaction video by me, Triple G Gamer here. Um, yes, I'm legit. And sometimes I trippy. Um, welcome to the channel. This is my reaction video to, as you can see, my YouTube channel. Um, Fake Woke by Tom McDonald. And let me say here, I've listened to this song so many freaking times. Um, I uploaded it. Yeah, one of the ones also. That was annoying. And, but anyway, this song is, oh my gosh, Tom, once again, you freaking outdid yourself. You know, like I said before, you know, oh, Tom McDonald released this song. It's better than the last one, and it's still just, you know, even if it's softcore, like, um, I Wish, or his Christmas song, um, Angels, which, Tom, once again, dude, you did the freaking impossible for me, you know, I have a hard time expressing my feelings, you know, people say I'm cold-hearted and whatnot, dude, first time you made me cry was with cancer. Oh my gosh, dude, you did the impossible for me, and then you did it mo again. In fact, one of my last, uh, I think the last video that I did of Tom McDonald was I'm Corny. I had to redo that one. And you know, the first time I heard that, I lit it off. You know what? I would like a girlfriend with, um, uh, freaking the Mac Lethal diss, and sh she died laughing. Well, you know what? I felt like I was dying of laughter when I heard, when I watched the music video. And you know, I, Literally, the first time I heard that, uh, I'm corny. I laugh my freaking ass off, and then you make me cry. And then you make me excited, and then, you know, you make me motivated. With You know, it depends, you know. it's Someone who can do that, and sometimes with multiple videos, you know, you give me, and maybe you've given some other people, too, who react to your videos, or hear your videos, hear your music, where they feel kind of conflicted with their emotions. Like, how does that make me feel? You know, what does that make me think about? And, you know, and that's actually happened to me too with one song and it makes me go over here, then it makes me go over here, it makes me go over here. You know, for someone to do that, Tom, man, it just proves, it just goes to prove that you're freaking talented. And once again, you know, he did the song, he did the lyrics, he performed in the video. Well, who made the video, as we all know, it was Nova Rockefeller. So, shout out to you, Nova. Thank you again for continuing to making his videos. And, Tom, thank you for doing the same thing for Nova as well when she does her videos. And you guys make a wonderful team. Keep it up. I love you guys. I love you, Tom. I love you, Nova. Nova, you're so beautiful. Extremely talented, too. Anyway, let's get into it. Enough about me rambling on about Fake Woke and every other song of Tom McDonald's. Um... Yeah, big look. As we go about our daily life. <sighs> Let me pause this because I'm not going to show an advertisement. And we're back. Yes, my reaction video to Tom McDonald's Fake Woke. Okay, let me see here. Three weeks ago, less than a month. Oh my gosh, almost 8 million views. Once again, it just goes to prove. See, it, you know, I said it right there. Right there, Tom McDonald, Fake Woke. Tom McDonald, 7.8 million views three weeks ago. Holy crap. It just goes to prove how, how talented Tom McDonald is. Wait, is it Tom McDonald or is it Tom McDonald? Oh, Lord. Sometimes I wonder about myself. And then I question myself, even though I know it. Oh, well, that's just the autism in me. All right, let's get it back into it. Let's actually start this. Fake look, Tom McDonald. Oh, and you know what? This song actually got him on the news. 
too. You guys go check out that video. It was on Fox. I'm sure, it's on YouTube. And he did an interv uh, uh, interview on Fox a couple weeks ago because of this. Right around three weeks ago because the song came out. In less than a few days, it was at a million views. More than a million. Once again, Tom outdid himself. Not so. Part of me is still surprised and part of me is not surprised. You see? Like I said, mixed emotions. Mixed feelings. Thank you, Tom. I love it. I'm actually sincerely thank you for causing me to have mixed feelings. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they label this controversial and Cardi B is the role model for 12-year-old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards. It's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom, and now he doesn't want Wait, what? They voted for Trump. Wait. Okay, We're hold on. This controversial and Cardi Did he B really? Old model for 12 year old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards. It's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom, and now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed to be a man. Oh crap. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. You know. Clone rappers, you know, um, they cloned Eminem. Well, I wouldn't really say that's really a flat-out diss. Um, you know, with the cloned rappers song, which I'm planning on doing a reaction video on that as well, if I haven't already. No, I don't think I have. Um, Tom, Gr okay, look, he's even said it himself. He's even posted on his, uh, if you go on to, you know, YouTube and you go on to his, channel right and then it's like his postings where it said i've been signing uh i've been doing the albums uh signage all week i've been really busy and everything don't worry within two days all uh all of these orders that i'm signing of these albums that i've been by i'm sending i'm gonna ship them out to you you know that area uh there was this one where okay well greatest rapper ever you know it outdid eminem uh, i'm sorry i'm best rapper ever Sorry, Tom, I'm sorry. It's best rapper ever. Um, yeah. Tom McDonald, best rapper ever. Um, he released that song, one song, the same day that Eminem released his newest whole album. And he outdid him. His whole album he outdid. And, he, and then he did a post. He said, hey, maybe, you know, within an hour, hey, maybe... I'm at this um, amount of views on YouTube. I'm at this amount of uh, Spotify streams. I'm at this amount of iTunes purchases. Uh, later on that day, I said, oh my gosh, I'm really far. You know, I'm at like half a million. And then he said, oh my gosh. You know, because he was at like 10 and Eminem's album was all at you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh my gosh, I'm at 8 now. I'm at 7. I'm at 5. And Eminem's album, uh, the, his songs, right, are going down. Oh my gosh. Maybe there's a chance I might outdo my idol. And, you know, he looked all excited, him and Nova. You know, they were really proud. And, you know, they did it himself. He did the song. He has no publishing agent stuff. He does it all himself. He has no record label. He is the record label. Him and Nova are the record label for each other. Yeah. They do it all. They release the music. What not? All, all for himself. There's no middleman. He, he is the middleman. Him and Nova are the middleman for each other. As a team. And. Then. The next day. He wakes up. And you know. I wake up and I check my YouTube channel, and I check my subscriptions, and he goes, oh my god, in less than one day, he outdid Eminem's whole album. I mean, Tom McDonald, he, when he grew up, he listened to Eminem. He grew up with Eminem stuff, you know? I remember when Eminem was more in the Slim Shady, you know? Uh, my mama's on your lips. My mama's on your lips. And if you want, I might just let you give it a little kiss. You know, he had blonde hair, you know? Uh, you know, uh, he's 
freaking should even be here either, just like Tom, you know? The Vicodin. Just, you know, I'm two extremely well talented people, you know? But him, one song, he outdid his whole album. And he looked up to him. And then there was a, you know, where he said with clone rappers, you know, they cloned Eminem. He's not the same. Um, you know, that, when I looked into that one, I didn't really think that as a diss. I think he was just saying that, you know, Eminem's changed in his experience in his appearance, on how his, uh, what's it called? His rapping style has evolved. You know, he's not as crazy anymore. Um, they're still really good songs. But this right here, he, okay, he, he just flat out dissed Eminem. Well, if they voted for Trump, he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. Well, t that's Tom. He's calling out the facts here. He's, uh, you know, um, he. Actually, I'm not sorry, but Eminem did say that. So it is gonna be interesting because there was also there's other videos and everything, and there's also truth. Thing, you know, the white boy of rap, Eminem. You don't want to fuck with the white boy. You do not want to diss Eminem. So it's gonna be interesting if, and also when, probably not if, but when and what. Eminem, Marshall Matters, Slim Shady's response is going to be to that one part. Anyway, let's get back into it. You should probably love it because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now, the planet went crazy. Labeled everything we say is homophobic or racist. If you're white, then you're privileged. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. As children, we're taught to walk and talk and stand up. As adults, they just want us to sit down and shut up. The exact opposite. And it's pretty true. Cancer culture in America uh, runs it. You know, you say one thing and somebody doesn't like it. And they say it's racist and actually it's not. Um, you know? People have no spines anymore. You, It's just like... Okay, well... Like, uh, I was really happy when they brought Roseanne back, you know? You know, that was short-lived. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, com the, uh, sitcom. The, t the, uh, television show Roseanne. Yeah, Roseanne Barr, you know, and Dan and his, and their family. The, uh, Roseanne. The, um, uh, uh, Roseanne Connor. The Connors. Which is what it is now because they killed her off because she said because she said that someone who is considered a minority they look like a monkey. Well, you know what? I don't like the way Kate Brown looks at times too. Everything I think the governor of Oregon, in my opinion, and I'm exercising my freedom of speech. I don't like the way she looks. Um, she kind of looks like a mole. Um, I don't like her. Um, Govern her uh, governing. Uh, she's weak. She can't freaking uh, come up. And you know the, the, the thing about Oregon though is, um, and it seems like this way is that you know it's a blue state. Washington's a blue state. I'm not trying to get into politics here. I'm just stating facts. Oregon. Well, apparently the government of Oregon can't make up their own freaking mind. They can't make up their fucking mind. Oh, work. This is new. Maybe we should try it. Oh, hey, guess what? Washington. We're going to go see what Washington does. And then we wait. And we see what Washington does. And every single governor of Oregon, 99% of the, maybe 98% of the fucking times, throughout the whole history of Oregon and Washington, pretty much does, we're going to do what Washington does. Okay, yes, I understand that we live that in Oregon, Washington, Washington, Oregon, whatnot, you know. But, okay, to an extent, it's understandable. But it, this is how much of it is, and it's freaking annoying. I mean, seriously, the leadership of Oregon, the governors, especially Kate Brown, who's the worst freaking governor. Um, oh, God, it's like, why the fuck is she still in office? Um, they have no balls. Okay? Kate Brown is not a woe man, okay? She's a dis... In my opinion, she's a freaking disgrace. 
Seriously, she can't make up the decisions by herself and by the government of the state of Oregon. She has to go, oh, what is Washington going to do? Oh, that's what they did. We're going to do that or something very similar to it. You don't run Washington. Run Oregon, you fugly person. Yeah, it's fucking ugly. Oh, God. Not just with looks stuff, but her actions. She's an idiot. Now, here's a joke. You know, if it's brown, flush it down. Governor Brown, if it's brown, flush it down. That's just my opinion, but I'm not trying to totally get into politics here. But that's what, you know, that right there, that's what reminded me of it. Cancer culture. <laughs> wow. Tom's telling, I mean, the bars are just flat out, just, exactly. Woke. Just fake woke here. Legitimate. A a everything he said, I totally agree with. Guilty by association, all our childhood heroes got me too to the rape. They never freed the slaves, they realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens, we think we free cause we can't see the cage. They knew the race war would be the game they need to play for people to big teams. They used the media to feed the flame. They saw. Okay, wow. And it just gets more intense in here. They never freed the slaves. Wait, okay, they never freed the slaves. Is homophobic or racist? If you're white, then you're privileged, guilty by association. All our childhood heroes got me too to the rape. They never freed. Okay, if you're white, you're privileged, you're guilty by association. Okay, well, like I said before in like the my reaction video to the white boy song, Tom McDonald, which I also love. I said I can't come up with a favorite Tom McDonald song. He always outdoes himself, even though it's like, oh, there's no way he's gonna outdo himself, you know? Um. I said it then, I'm going to say it again. In America, because it's so di beautifully diversified. Um, I mean, you can go walk down the street, drive down five blocks and go get Chinese food. You can walk down two blocks in the opposite direction and go get Korean food. What not? Two miles down, whatever, you know? Um, and that's beautiful. You can go get Italian food at a restaurant in, in every single state. You can go to an Irish pub and get... Irish food, you can go get um, Asian food, what, whatever. And it, it, you know what? It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. America is very beautifully diversified. We grew, America was made on immigration, it was made on diversification. And that's very wonderful. But that's not what it is anymore, you know? It's just America, seriously, like he said, you know. How the heck do you fix mental illness within America? Later on, he says this, basically. I'm paraphrasing him. When the whole part of America as a country, the United States of America, is mentally ill. Okay? So, like I said before, but also, in America, besides, um, okay, besides, basically, country folks, um, Hicks, I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful here, uh, redneck, um, okay, uh, Tom McDonald, besides, uh, um, besides, um, our newest president, Joe Biden, uh, besides Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, um, Mike Pence, besides Donald Trump, can anyone give me An everyday white person. I, you know, I thought I could, but then I, well, what ethnic groups are you? I was unable to come up. I don't know anyone who's actually truly white, personally. And besides the other people that, that I've mentioned, you know. Oh, and also, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mitch McConnell. Okay. And, and no one in, in the U.S. government, okay. And and everyone else, I'm talking about like everyday people. It's gonna you might come up with a few, but it's not really gonna be enough to count. To ask them, oh, are you white? Okay, okay, that well, this okay, you give an example for an everyday person, you know, like, oh, my great uncle, 
Okay, well, from your great uncle, what's his ethnic city group and stuff? What's his ancestry? Guess what? We all came from Africa. I'm not saying we're all black, but we all came from Africa, okay? We came from the blacks, okay? We came from the Kalahari Bushmen, which is a wonderful, phenomenal uh, indigenous people, okay? They're really fast runners, and they don't speak like, you know, you, you and me, or like in Korean and whatnot, you know, they... And you know, that's really interesting and really ph phenomenal and wonderful thing here on Earth, you know? But that's where we all came from. Our, the DNA proves it, okay? Science, it, it proves it. Let's just leave religion. Let's just talk about science. It, it proves it. We all came from the Kalahari Bushmen, okay? So, our DNA markers, we all have a little bit of black in us. Not enough to count. Not, you know... Tom, he's freaking, from the step one, he's just, from the one second mark, he's just, out, he's just out onto the field, and he, or the racetrack, and he's flooring it. I, I freaking love it. The slaves, they realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew the race war would be the game they need to play for people. And yeah, that's that's what I mean by a race war, okay? Seriously, it's and it's true. Ninety nine percent of the people in America whoop, the whoop, like yeah. I mean Tom's just calling it. He spot on from the first second to the four minute and four second mark of this whole song, Tom is spot on. So big teams, they use the media to feed the flame. They saw fake woke, fakes don't care about feelings. I love it. <laughs> Tell me why to believe me. Hey, so fake woke, say so, say so, say so, fake woke. Don't care about your feelings. It's crazy how these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her up from school, music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue because they. Wow, okay. Um. You know, it, 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 it's true. You know, America is divided. You know, it's always been, to an extent, divided. But within the last. Yeah, you know that's what I'm talking about. It's just, well, I can't, we all know how divided it is, you know? I can't display it. I, I'm going to go off screen. We're divided from Alaska to freaking Florida, from Washington to New York, okay? The whole square footage of all the, la of all the states of America, you add them up, you add them up and add 10,000 plus miles on that number. That's how divided we are. Minimum. And it didn't always used to be that way. I mean, we've always been divided, but not like this. And it's just freaking crazy. And the media, he, he's true. You know why? Because they're going to focus on what sells. Yeah, that's right. The money. The, the money. Money. Because that's what's they're going to focus on what you, the news, you know, they're going to focus on something over and over and over again because you're going to watch it. Or there's going to be enough people to watch it and then they're going to make money out of it. It's all about this. Uh, money. That, that, that's exactly what he's saying. The media is driving it. And you know what? The media wasn't always this way. It really was not. The, the, the news was not always this way. Even before me. I mean, I was born in the 90s. Um, Go back to the 50s, the 40s, you know, the news. It, the 60s. Uh, maybe early 70s. But then, eventually, it just started going downhill. Not what it was back then. Choose what they erase. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think Black Lives Matter was the stupidest name. When the system's screwing everyone exactly the same. 
I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family. Holy crap. Wow. Black Lives Matter is the most stupidest name when they're screwing everybody. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, look. Here's the problem with Black Lives Matter. Okay. With, well, I say with the media, you know. A white person gets shot. Yeah, it's going to be on the news. A black person gets on the news. Gets, gets shot by police, you know. Let's just say white person, black person. Um. Get, get, they both get shot by the police. Yeah, they're both they're gonna both be on the news stuff, but this is how much the media coverage of the white person is gonna be. This is how much see, beyond my screen of how much the African American is gonna get covered. I I mean I look, I'm 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 gonna come out and say it. Yes, I support black lives matter. I support all lives matter. Let's quit killing babies. Seriously, you just killed the cure to cancer, and it the concept of abortion in America truly comes from racism. Look it up. In fact, maybe I should do a video exposing that, telling the truth about that. Yeah, you know what? I think I will eventually. Okay. And guess what? The whole point of Planned Parenthood originally and still to this day is to target the minorities, especially the African Americans. Abortions. It's a fact. Okay? It is a flat out fact. Okay? And he's right. It is the most stupidest name. In fact, Black Lives Matter, you automatically made it racist by saying Black Lives Matter. So if you singled out one race, all Black Lives Matter, all Chinese Lives Matter, all Asian lives matter, all Korean lives matter, all Indian lives matter, all Native American lives matter, all white lives matter, all people lives matter. Yeah, just call it ALM, all lives matter. Of course, there is also a movement called that too, but that never gets any coverage because that's it's not going to sell by the media. People aren't going to watch that. They're going to watch the stuff about the Black Lives Matters and the protests, and it's not what it was meant to be. It's totally grown out of proportion. That's why I support, yeah, Black Lives Matter. Okay, I'm cool with that. But I don't support Black Lives Matter, the movement, as a Hispanic, Wanani, Paraguayan, Indian, white person who's, like I said, Hispanic, who's a little bit of German in them, Irish, as well as the what I said with the Hispanic in me. Basically, yes, human mutt. As a minority, I say fuck Black Lives Matters. The movement. It's just, and you know what? I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna recant that. I support Black Lives Matters, but I don't support the movement because guess what? It's not what it used to be. It, and you know what? That was short lived. If if you really think about it, it's gone far out into like I don't even beyond mental. I'm spot on and stuff. That's Seriously, and it, and it is the most stupidest name when the whole of America, the rich people, the Rockefellers, the Bushes, the government, which is part of our fault stuff because we keep voting them in, is like, we need to get rid of Nancy Pelosi stuff. She's freaking, you know, we keep voting these people in, right? Till they die. I mean, yes, John McCain, thank you for your service. You were a POW, so thank you for your service. Thank you for your service in the military. Thank you for your service as a senator in the U.S. government, thank you. May you rest in peace. You did a lot of good things for America. Some of the stuff I agree with, some of the stuff I don't agree with, some of the stuff I support, I don't support. You know, that you did. Um, or said, or didn't say, whatever, you know. But no, thank you for your service as a, former, as a member of our government. But guess what? We, the American people, keep electing these people in. And... They're freaking 80 years old and they walk in there with their wheelchairs and whatnot, or maybe not stuff, but they're really old and they've been in that form of government, running the government, right? The, the federal government, elected by the people, for 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And we keep, and we expect different results. Well, guess what? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, okay? These people, Mitch McConnell, he seriously, 
get him the hell out. Seriously, why is, seriously, I, I, this is what pisses me off even more, okay? There is a term limit for the president, which is two terms. The possibility of two terms and stuff. You don't have to serve them consecutively. But after eight years, um, four years, it's one term, you get elected again. Or if you lose, but maybe you run again, you get elected again. That actually happened once. One time. In American history, I think, with the presidency. Um, it wasn't consecutively stuff, but they ran. Okay, and that's law. Two terms, right? Four years each. Then you can no longer be president. That goes back to FDR because he got elected the three, I think, four terms, right? And then he died in office, right? But then, and it was unprecedented, you know, but at the time there was no law stating that, hey, there's no term limit for a president. So they said, okay, well, let's just see what it goes. And then somewhere during that time, he goes out and he goes around his, because of World War II, you know, he goes around his military cabinet board and goes straight to, like, the five-star general, uh, Douglas MacArthur, right? And he has him do something. He didn't even correspond with his cabinet, right? He didn't even correspond with Congress and the Senate either. You know why? Because he was able to do that because he had too much power. So that's why there's a term limit on the presidency. But guess what? There is no term limit to the senators and the Congress people running our government. So yeah, we keep electing these boneheads in. They don't even know what the heck a garbage disposal is. Actually, some of them actually found that out during the TikTok thing, you know, of banning it because of China, you know. Whatever. Uh, they don't even know what the heck tick what the heck is TikTok. And neither okay, I mean that's a popular thing for young people. Um I'm just giving this an example. In fact, I and then I read that some of these people, they don't even know what the heck a garbage disposal is, okay? There was this woman who is a member of the Senate or the Congress, right? She doesn't even know what a fucking uh, garbage disposal is, right? You know why? Because she eats out every single day. She recently found out that the place that she stays in has a garbage disposal. And these are the kind of people that y Americans who can vote have repeatedly voted these kind of people in. They're so out of touch. Guess what? We keep doing the same thing over and over again. Keep electing these people expecting different results. America, he's right. We are fake woke. America, we're fucking insane. Fucking insane. That's insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again. Expecting different results. Tom, just, he's killed it. Since the first second. I love this song. He's just, and, it, and he, as he keeps going and stuff, he just keeps higher and higher. I love you, Tom. Without being accused of celebrating native casualties, we got so divided it's black and white and political. Republicans are bigots, libtards if you're liberal. There's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse. Y'all screaming deep on the police, y'all are genius for sure. They're underfunded already, they're way too busy to work. Order food and call the cops, see what reaches you first. Segregate. Oh, shit. Wow. And you know, he's true, you know? I mean, seriously, like, I don't even know why the heck I open up the news at times. Why the heck do I even listen to the news? Oh, God. And, or, order food, call the cops, see which one comes first, because everyone's like, deep on the police. Look, there are times when people get shot, legitimately, but, and people lose their shit, especially if it's an African American, and the shooting was justified. Um, the, the, and the media drives this. You know why? Because of money. Okay? Michael Brown, that incident, you know, Ferguson, I'm going to come out and say it. As a human mind, that was totally justified. Michael Brown was a thug. He's a thug. Okay? There was no hands up. He never had his hands up. But the media, that's what drives you. Um, That policewoman, uh, African-American policewoman, right? With the no-knock warrant. You know, right? And the media, CNN did it repeatedly and stuff. They said there was no knock, knock. There was no knock, and they had a no-knock. Yeah. They had a no knock warrant, right? But they did knock. And guess what? But you don't but you didn't hear it from the freaking news. You didn't hear it from CNN. You didn't hear it from MSNBC. Even Fox, which actually I'm surprised about because that stuff's more um calm. But CNN is just in a lot of ways. And Don Lemon too and stuff, you know, he never searched it up and everything, you know, and he clearly said, you know, there was no knock. Yeah, you know what? They did knock on her door. And guess what happened? Her boyfriend and she got fired from the police department. Yeah, she was a former police officer who got fired because of drug associations. And everything. They were pushing drugs. But you didn't hear about that in the media. You didn't hear that about in the news. 
Oh, a poor innocent minority person was killed by the police and unjustified. It's like, you know, you got to go watch CNN, you got to go watch Fox 12, you got to go, or, I mean, that's, that's local here for me. You got to go watch Fox, you got to go watch MSNBC news, and then you got to and then you got to go watch other sources or find out other sources, you know, that are kind of minor, that are more thorough about what they're invest about the, what the heck they're reporting, you know, like um, other news sources. Like, uh, let me see on my phone. Um, I have some. Uh, here's my news app, okay? Um, what the heck is it? Okay, news. I have Ground News app. I have K2. I have RT America. Um, I have Fox News. I have um, and uh, uh, other ones too. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's, 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 so yeah, like Fox News, uh, Ground News, which is a news app. Uh, K2 News Local for me, um, the Apple News app itself, New York Times, NPR, um, RT News, Real uh, Russia Today or, or RT America, you know, um, Smart News. Um, you know, those are my news apps, you know, and I go through every single one and maybe they have, and maybe some news stations or news stories have the same story, you know, right? And the major ones, you know, um, and then I draw my own conclusion of what it is, you know, because they'll tell you one way of the story and another news station will also mention that, but they'll also mention other stuff that is important about it, you know, you, they pick and choose what they want to talk about. Like freaking Don Lemon, I can't freaking stand Don Lemon. He said, I can't come up with any idea of when, of any time that Donald Trump's ever uh, put down and condemned racism. I can't come up with any option. In fact, there's a video on YouTube explaining that that right there is the false stuff. He failed to do his homework. Don Lemon of CNN freaking failed to do his homework. He's a freaking idiot. Okay, I can't stand him. He Donald Trump has more than once, even before he was president, in fact, there's videos of it, okay? Of him condemning racism. Okay. Thank you. Tom McDonald, the news is the media is dividing us. Spot on. Love it. Nation ended, that's a lie in itself. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot and they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box See? to divide us ourselves. That proves my point. Fake so, And wonder why it isn't working. That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Wow. Okay. Sleeping like the sleeping with the football team and saying you're a virgin. Wow, I wanna hear that again. And wonder why it isn't working That's like sleeping with a football team To try and be a virgin Politicians are for sale And someone always makes the purchase But you and I cannot afford it Our democracy is worthless Wow, okay They expect peace But they use violence to get it That's like sleeping with the football team And saying you're a virgin Tom, great comparison I mean, two opposite spectrums, you know But it, I, I get what you just said there, you know And it's true But you, you, know, you know what? Look with all the freaking police protesting, you know, they can't even do their job, you know. Look, I mean, I could say some stuff that would, some some truth, you know. And there's other people who know exactly what the heck I'm talking about, about, well, the culture of, well, the American police force, okay. And it's everywhere. It's what, 
state, every single state, every single city of every single state, right? Like the national U.S. truth about the police, you know? And there's other people who know exactly what the heck I'm talking about, about the hidden issues that if that stuff was to get out, okay. And also what I'm saying is that maybe one day it will eventually come out. Um, but the police protests, you know, I, I have a feeling because that might happen. No, it's, it's going to happen eventually. But one day, guess what? Those protests are going to spread across every single city, every single state of America. And it's, you know what? It's gradually going to get worse. And you know what? Not all, now what I'm talking about, right? Not all cops are like that, even though they're associated with it and stuff. Okay? And now, trust me, people are going to deny what the heck I'm trying to talk about. If they know, but if they do, then they know exactly what the heck I'm talking about. But I'm, no, because it's just going to, the last thing we need, America, is going to be, you know, 2020 was a shitty year. Last thing we need right now. Um, but some people, yeah, some people, yeah. You probably know exactly what the heck I'm talking about. Let me, let me just put it to you this way. Code words. Okay, I'm not talking about with, like, the reading off license plate. Adam, boy, Charlie, one, two, three, Arizona plates. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about, you know, like, code zero, officer down, 1234 for mentally ill people. Well, that's in Oregon for city police codes. You know, it's different for each one. Uh, 5150 in California is uh, mentally ill. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some other stuff. Um, okay. And the way the truth, you know, uh, et cetera. Um, but I have a feeling that that stuff's just going to get worse. Call the cop. Call the cops and order and order food. See who gets to you first. Defund the police. Um, maybe in some ways that's to an extent maybe, but you know, it's come at the beginning. I kind of understood that and agreed with it, but it's turned into everything. You know, the police can even do their jobs, and you want to freaking seriously. And like, okay, take Portland for example. Portland is so freaking stupid with all the protests and everything, right? And freaking, uh, uh, Portland, Oregon, you know, and that mayor, Ted Squealer, Ted Wheeler, Mr. No Nuts, he's over there and he has no balls and stuff. He won't even let the police do their job. Okay, I mean, there's a difference between protest and peace and that, okay? They're just out there rioting and stuff, wanting to cause damage and stuff. They don't have, they're laid off and stuff, but they're not going, but they're not getting up in the morning and trying to go find a job. And even if this COVID stuff wasn't going on, there's probably a whole bunch of people who are still on that, you know? Hey, are you on, trust me, uh, one of the questions, like, if you were to get arrested, like, in Portland, Oregon, for a kid of a protest or anything, you know, that you go to prison, right? I mean, well, jail, the night. And then they just release you and stuff, so there's no actual accountability, you know? There's accountability for your actions and stuff, you know? You know, when I was a kid, you know, I disrespected my mom and stuff, my dad would come over and smack me in the back of my head. Hold me accountable. But no, Tay Wheelers has no ball sack. And you know what? I'm, the Portland, Oregon, you, the people who voted him back in, I'm going to come out and say, you guys are fucking idiots. But that's just my opinion. Um, he's, he's weak. In fact, he's worse than Tate Brown. Um, but you know what? I would much rather have Sam Adams back in there. Of uh, Portland, Oregon. You know, it, it, he... But Tom's right, you know, but like I said, so, I have a feeling something's going to happen where somebody's going to say something about something and somebody's going to take that stuff, do some research on it, find out it's true, and put it out there in a way where it's going to catch fire and it's going to, and that information is going to spread, okay? That information is going to spread in every single city of America, every single state There's going to be freaking protests. That's what I got to say about that. If a man has mental illness, call him crazy, say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick and True. Pill. When the side effects get you high, you get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to... Oh, you know what? Let's rewind that real quick. Turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to... Holy crap. Okay. 
Exactly, you know, they're the media's doing their version of the truth, you know. Exactly, Tom, you're it, spot on. I agree with it. I love it. Spot on, man. You're thank you. Tom just killed him. I mean, he just thank you. Thank you. Man, I mean, the bars are freaking flying off this song, man. It's freaking. Oh, man, thank you, Tom, for making fake woke. Thank you. And he's just going to continue improving himself. Improving himself. He really is. He really is. Hey, men and women, how we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism needs to be. You know what? That just reminds me, you know, there's a thing that my dad has said multiple times, you know, in America today, there is no room for God. I'm just going to leave it at that. I Thank you, Tom. Thank you. That's all I have to say about that. He's absolutely right. And it's sad. There's no more room for God on this earth. Especially in America. The most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. Just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. <gasps> I love it. Even though he said he's kidding, I don't trust anything that bleeds for a week and doesn't die. <sighs> wow. Um, you know, the fem movement, okay. What it was back then, I mean, when it was first around, I mean, I'm talking like the 20s, okay? Probably older than that. You know, uh, okay, women's suffrage, right? Compared to today, it went 180 and went crazy. That, today, you and you call it feminism? No. But it's the way it is. And you know what? It's fucking stupid. Stuff like that is fucking stupid. Everything's racist. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just everything's racist. What I'm doing with this reaction video is racist. No, it's not. Tom's racist. He's the devil. Tom doesn't give a crap. Thank you, Tom. Keep it up, man. I love it. I love you, Nova. I love you, Tom, man. Keep it up. The bars on this song are just the straight. Everything he said is true. Spot on. Just every single word. Like, how many words of this song is, like, if they were, like, 1,500 words? It's, okay, let's, let's say there was, this song has 1,500 words of all the lyrics. That is, like, 1,500 or whatever. Not 800, whatever. Whatever that number is, that's how many bullseyes he's just gotten. Playing cricket. Spot on. Just bullseye, 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 bullseye. Tom, he's freaking murdered it with this song. You know what the next song? Yeah. But I'm like, there's no way he can do it. But, yeah, deep down in my heart, there's a part of me that's more than likely, yeah. But there's another part, like I said before, you know, every single time it's like, there's no way he's out. And then he does it. He outdoes, he, he outdoes his last song. I love that he does this every single time. Thank you, Nova. Tom, when are you going to wife her? Seriously, that's what we want to know. Anyway. Thank you. That was Triple Gamer here with my reaction video to Tom McDonald's Fake Woke. The redo. Um, of course, it's longer than I wanted it to be. Um, almost an hour. Holy crap. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, ladies and gentlemen, germs, ladies, males, females. Thanks for watching. Smack that like button. Subscribe. We really much be appreciated. Tell your friends about it. And like I said before, feel free to share my videos. I also do video game walkthroughs as well. Thank you for watching. This is Triple Legit Gamer here signing off on my redo of reaction video of Tom McDonald's Fake Woke. Thank you for watching. And one more thing. Bye, friends.